close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. And be alert for when the mind wants to leave. That's why we're meditating, that's why we're focusing on the breath, is so we can watch the mind. Because the mind is a big mystery in our lives. We, many times we decide we want to do something and then we do something else. Or we don't want to do something, we suddenly find ourselves doing it. Sometimes things we know are bad, we end up doing them. As for things that are good, that we know will be for our benefit and our happiness down the line, we some, sometimes can't do them. So why is that? Well, you have to learn how to look at your own mind, and this is why we focus on the breath. It gives you a place to stay in the present moment. And as you get better and better at staying here, you begin to see the movements of the mind. You say, oh, there was that little thought there that you didn't notice before, or this little thought. This way you learn how to reflect on the mind. Learn how to observe the mind in action. And when you can observe it in action, then you can do something about it. You can see where the problems are and the reasons that you might have for not wanting to do something that's good, and then you can give yourself better reasons to do it. Find ways of encouraging yourself. As for things that you know are bad that you like to do, well, you can see more clearly where this is coming from and how miserable the mind is when it's feeding on that kind of pleasure. And you realize you've got some place better to go. In other words, you learn how to reflect on your mind as you're doing it, as you're doing things. And that way it makes it a lot easier to do the right thing. One of the important aspects of the practice is what they call right effort, is learning how to abandon unskillful qualities and to develop skillful ones. And a huge part of right effort is learning how to talk yourself into doing it, motivating yourself. When the motivation is there, it's a lot easier. If there's no motivation there, if, even if you force yourself to do something, it's not going to come out well. So you have to learn how to get to know your own mind to see exactly what reasons it has. The mind has its reasons. As I say, the heart has its reasons. And these are the things you want to know, because sometimes they go against all reason. In other words, you're totally misinformed, totally acting in your own worst interest. Yet the mind, for some reason, wants to go that way. So in order to uncover this mystery, you have to learn how to sit right here and watch it for a while. And then when you understand why, then it's a lot easier to direct the mind in the proper direction. So take advantage of that. You've got the breath here. You can make it comfortable in the present moment, breathing in, breathing out in a way that feels refreshing. That helps you stay right here. When you stay here, then you can see these movements as they're happening. And it's only when you see them that you can do something about them. Otherwise, they're a big mystery. And big mysteries don't get solved unless you look very carefully at the evidence. And the evidence is right here in the present moment all the time. It's just that we're not looking here. So bring the mind into the present moment with a breath, and you'll see a lot of things that used to be mysterious, and then you realize they don't have to be mysterious at all. And clean up your own act. And that's the essence of right effort right there. The more wisdom you bring to it, the less energy or the less exertion you have to put into it. And that kind of exertion, that when you learn how to do it more economically like this, okay, that can last for a long time. 